hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel hello and welcome back i'm just going to be very brief and quick in this video um i absolutely do not believe i absolutely do not think there is anything we anything wise wisdom whatever way you want to put it in using what somebody shared with you you know at a time you people are good to shame them when something goes i hope my voice is good because i've been having terrible sore throat for the past five days and i hope i'm sounding better but i just want to put this out here i don't think there's any wisdom in it that's you had you were good with somebody and probably in the course of your friendship you share some certain things and then when things go sour you feel it is necessary for you to bring everything out just because you want to shame the person you want to make a point or what i don't think there's any wisdom in it and that brings me to say um something about this girl this issue about everybody knows about it like i said i'm t i'm actually talking about it a little later than the whole thing has been going on but those girl fancy Achelono and alexei kiba for those who do not know these two were engaged to get married and then somehow the girl came out broke the engagement and now eventually she came out and apologized and she's been saying a whole lot of things first of all i just want to put out there i want to say that look this First, actually, I do not know who is advising you. I think at this point, you need to stop talking. You're talking too much. You're saying a lot. The more you talk, you keep saying, oh, it's not my intention to shame this guy. But all you keep doing is shaming the guy. That's all you keep saying. You have been bringing everything out. Don't forget that this is somebody who, at some point, you were crazily madly in love. Of course, that was why he proposed. And you accepted his, uh, his uh, proposal. I don't know who is advising you. You're in your 30s, but you're basically acting like a child at this point. Stop singing. Stop talking. You've talked to, you've said a lot already. You're giving out information you're not supposed to give. You give it, and you keep saying, oh, it's not my intention to do this. But you keep doing it. First of all, you said, oh, you know, it's not my intention to say that he's gay. But you already said it by the things you're saying. The point I'm trying to make in this video is just, like I said, very brief and short. It is not wisdom. There is no wisdom in it. Using what transpire between you and somebody when things were good to shame them when things go wrong i mean one thing i've learned in this life is that sometimes you don't really need to explain a lot of things most times you allow things to play out by themselves there's one philosophy i've come to understand maybe i'll make a separate video on that and i said put it this way that there is that tomorrow has a way of settling the problems of today yes tomorrow has a way of settling today's problem if you believe that when things happen, sometimes talk less and just surrender everything. Just leave everything and let and let God work for you. If you believe in God, let I believe in God. I believe that God makes works out things, even in way that we never knew that He is working out. This a fancy girl. She has talked spoken talked so much, and the more she says whatever she's here, talking about your mental health, and it's also important for you to understand that the Alex a Kubo you're bringing her out like that that he's also a human being he's also a human being people are bashing him people are saying those sorts of things about him he's also a human being he has his own uh, um human yeah, feelings as well you shame this guy publicly years ago he, he did what he did a, a few a few years uh, maybe a year or two ago by coming out publicly to cancel your engagement and everything you did what you did he was aggrieved he was uh, angry according to you because everything we've been hearing is according to you the poor guy, the guy has not said anything. He has not come. I'm not here to defend Alex. I'm not here to defend anybody. But my point is this. The more you say things about people, whether they are true, whether they are false, you have to consider also that whoever you're, whatever you're saying is in one word, you're affecting the other person. It's not as much as it is affecting you also. It is affecting that individual also. It is also important for us to be mindful of the things. This guy was able to make you to come out and now to begin to sing like a canary people are a lot of people are supporting you a lot of people are not, uh, uh, are not uh, um, uh, trolling you a lot of people are trolling the guy it is not good for you it is not good for him in as much as you think you have said it or you have freed yourself you want to live in peace honestly speaking that peace you might not get it very soon because the truth about it is that this will keep happening and people will keep talking about you people will keep talking about things sometimes it's not necessary most of the things I fancy actually most of the things you're saying they are not really necessary and you know and the more you say some of the things you say you begin to bring out a lot of flaws in your own words you know you said this guy did not have not uh, did not have intimate um, relationship with you for five years that you were together with him then at some point 
the current interview you made with um, Stella Damokos, you said something, or oh, the first time we did it, blah, blah, blah. So what are we to blame? The guy's sister came and she made her own, that her own case is a different case. I'm going to make a video. On that, he from a Cuba as well. It's, it's so unfortunate, it's so shameful that somebody who lives in the Western world will come out and talk the way that woman is talking. I can understand you're trying to defend your brother or your cousin or whoever you he is to you, apparently a family member. But some of the things that came out of that woman's mouth does not sound like somebody who is matured, does not sound like somebody who is from the Western world. You cannot tell the world that you know that your brother is, you are absolutely very sure of your brother's sexuality. Even sometimes parents don't even know the sexuality of the son, that they, the children that they gave birth to, regardless of a relation. I mean, it's, it's not easy. It's just somebody who does not want to come out because of the societal stigmas and everything. And the same thing that the guy probably, probably is trying to hide is what everybody is pushing out down now. My point is, is this. Please, it's not right for us to, you know, sometimes it's not necessary so for us to you know give people too much of information especially when those information are the things that you shared in secret in confidence with somebody when you were together and then now because you think things have gone south you think you can use them to shame i think i don't think it's necessary look the bible says that a fool even when he keeps his mouth shut is considered wise Unless my not be saying anything a lot of people are, are, may, may say whatever they want to say but at those points the person that is considered wise here is alex because he's not saying anything he's not saying whether people say he's manipulative he's narcissist you say whatever you say the bottom line is that that guy has shown more sensibility in the whole uh, uh, um situation more than a fancy because he's just keeping inside just bore a case with what happened with mary uh, may edochi and yule edochi this woman just kept quiet and this guy was all over the place making the fool of himself at this point my dear fans you're a pretty girl you are not you made a mistake i don't know you were in love with this guy you wanted to be with a man who is not intimate with you it didn't go the way you wanted it stop talking you're so you've said a lot you've said enough it doesn't make any sense because the more you say things the more you bring out your own flaws the sister came and said that he, he was uh, um sponsoring you with uh, uh money every month even when you and at the end of the day, people say, oh, yeah, and um, as it's for me, rich family, it's not possible. She's rich. She's such a But at the end of the day, you accepted it that it's true. So somehow, somehow, some of the things that the former Ekuba says, some, some of the them, we're not wrong after all. You said you never was intimate with him. She said that, yes, you were. And Alex told you. And in your own interview, you accept, you uh, um, affirm to that, that you actually, you know. What, what am I saying? Sometimes some things are not even necessary. Stop talking. You've, you're talking too much already. Honestly, you're talking too much already. I'll, this is a, 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 my same humble advice to a lot of people out there. Sometimes you don't need to explain yourself too much. When things happen, just, you know, you can just make it, if you must, just say a little as you can say and just keep it moving. Giving all this so much of, you know, explanations and everything, sometimes it doesn't play out well. Because in the multitude of talk, in the multitude of speech, we, we fall. We, 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 people begin to see things they're not supposed to see. Because people who are smart, we begin to read in between the lines. You know, you, Sansi sounds like a frustrated person. She sounds like somebody who is so, you know, bitter, disappointed that somebody you loved, they wanted to take you back, did not take you back. You're a pretty girl. You're, you're bound to get somebody if you really want to move away from uh, um, uh, Alex may brush yourself or build your surface team and keep it moving just sometimes some things are not necessary some things are not necessary to you know to explain there's always a way that tomorrow fights the battle of today there's always a way tomorrow reveals the truth of about today that is just the truth anyway that is just what i have to say whatever is your thought you may do well to leave it at the comment section with this i'll say thank you so much for watching bye bye bye